Pauli. Welcome back to your brothers and sisters. Welcome to our class number 33 where we are continuing to learn about Fel Amr. So just quickly do a recap so how to make Fel Amr. So if you see Tabaqa, Yatbuhu, Utbuhu. So we know in Al-Fal uh, arba so to make it much zoom we have to bring Hamzatul Wasl if the Fa'al is beginning with the Sukoon. So in these cases, so you have Hamzatul Wasl and the sign of Hamzatul Wasl depends on the sign on Ayn Kalima. If it is Dhamma, it will always have Dhamma. And if it is have Fatha or Kasra, it will always have Kasra. Fataha Yaktahu Iqta. Fataha Yaftahu Iftah. And Daraba Yadribu Idrib. Jama'a Yajma'u Ijma'a. So this is in Afwal uh, Arba and if it is Afwal Khamsa, the dropping of Noon will be in the Majzoom form. So how do you describe this? Failu Amrin Mabniyun Ala Sukoon. So in these Afwal Arba, 5 in your pocket. So going forward, so we know this Majzoom is in Fail Amr and also it is in Fail Mudari'ah. So we know Fail Mudari'ah. It can be Marfu, Mansub, and Majzum. So what happened when you have a Majzum Fail, whether it is Amr or Mudari'ah, and if it is followed by Al. So what happens? Because we have a Sukun, and especially in Afwalul Arba, so it's a five in your pocket. So what happens there? For example, if you have Uktub, and if it is followed by Ad-Darsa followed by definite noun Ad-Darsa Uktub that's how do you pronounce it so we know Alif of Al the definite article is Hamzatul Wasl so whenever there is a word in front of it that sound is not produced then we have Lam with Sukun so then we have here Iltiqai Sakinaini the clashing of the Sukuns so in this scenario what we got to do to pronounce it to be able to pronounce it the Sukun on the Ba or the sukoon and the lam kalima of the fa'al is turned into a kasra. So how do you say? Uktubid darsa. Uktubid darsa. We know that fa'al mudari' is mu'rab. So any fa'al, whether it's mudari' or amr, it cannot be. Fa'al can be marfu, mansub, or majzum. But it can never be majroor. So we know now that whenever there is e kasra, it is for the phonetics, but it's not built in the fal. So let's do some more examples so it be clear. So we say uktubid darsa. So we have, why do we see kasra here? Because we cannot pronounce the sound. So we know whenever we see a hamzatul wasal, so we have to identify that this is a fal amr. It's not alamat mudara. So and it is ending with the sukoon and to make it pronounced so we have uktubid darsa so we'll see in the quran sometimes in the, some prints so you won't have sukoon at all so that's be kasra so unless we know these things we won't be able to identify so iqra il qur'ana so it'll be iqra but to be able to pronounce it we have to give a kasra iqra il qur'ana ishrabil qahwata so drink coffee Il abil ana. Il ab is play. So we say play now. So il abil ana. So this ba with kasra, this alif with kasra, again this ba ba. So the kasra is not built in the fa'il. This is only for the phonetics reason, but it is not part of the fa'il. The original fa'il is uktub, iqra, ishrab, and il ab. So we know when these Fel Amr, what does it begins with? It begins with Hamzatul Wasl. So, for example, if we say Uktub, so we know Hamzatul Wasl has a special characteristic that whenever a letter comes in front of it, what happens is the sound of that Hamzatul Wasl, where it is Uktub, the sound disappears. So, how do we pronounce it? We just say Waktub. So, but we know when we are pronouncing Waktub, Ending with the sukoon, that means it's amr. And it's written, Hamdatul Wasal is written, but it is not pronounced. For example, if you say, Uktub, 
separate letter separate word and atullah is separate or khulu is separate al fasla but when we pronounce we have should be able to identify ya ayyuhatullah bud khulul fasla so wherever there is hamzatul wasl and the letters between those are assimilated the sounds are assimilated they joined ya ayyuhatullah bud khulul fasla wajlisu waktabur waktabud darsa see kharaja yakhruju ukhruj So telling muannas ukhruji ukhruji ya bint wallabi see wallabi play ma ukhtuki with your sisters kulu washrabu eat and drink to see wow represents antum so we should know all the forms kul kula kulu kuli kula and kulna so ishrabna shariba yashrabu ishrab ishrabnal qahwata ya sayyidati oh my madam taali taali ya aminatu waftahin nawafida taali is a different form of fa'il so we going to do later but it means come so we'll do it in our next class or following class inshallah how this fa'il is constructed but just to understand it's ending with sukun jazm that means it's kind of a amar there's nothing in front of it taali come here o aminata waftahin nawafida open the windows ghasala yaghsilu ighsilu wash wujuhakum wa aydiyakum wash your faces and your hands abada يعبد واعبد واعبدنا الله واسجدنا له اوكي سو اول اوف يو اول فيملز ورشيب الله اند دو سجود سجود تو هيم لعيبه يلعبوا العب العبوا مينز انتم ان فرونت اوف اس العبوا بلاي بعد الدرس after the lesson العبوا بعد الدرس خذي سي يا من انت خذي كتابك so we should have ya suad take take your book or suad so we're just going to practice a little bit more so we get more comfortable so just going to fill in the blanks here al quran so we have to look at the whose is this being addressed to and bring a proper fa'il So what do you do with the Quran and you are addressing to Maryam so you say Iqra'i so it is a typo here so it has to be with ya Iqra'i Iqra'i al-Qur'an ya Maryam ya auladu auladu kulu al-khubza kulu al-khubza wal washrabu washrabu al-qahwata So, min al-fasli ya Musa, 
اخرج means go out go out from first yeah musa ukhruj min al fasl so what do you do with faces and hands here yeah. igsilna igsilna wujuha kunna wa aydiya kunna bis sabun ra'saka so what do you do with hairs you cut ihlaq ihlaq ra'saka bil musa So, Hadil Akrabu Yabi. So, what do you do with the scorpion? You kill. So, it's a Uktul Uktul Hadil Akrabu Yabi. Hala Khalid Li Zamilahu Li Zamilihu Zakariya Ma Ma'na Hadil Kalima. What is the meaning of this word? Kala Zakariya Zakariya said, Ana La Adri. I don't know. So, Is Alil. Is Alil Mudarrisa. So you know Hamzatul Wasal, the sound assimilation. Is Alil Mudarrisa. Ask the teacher. So what do you do for the laham with that sharp knife? So you say, Iqta'i. See, Iqta'i ya is file anti. Iqta'i lahma bizaak sikkinil hadda. See, with that zaka means zalika. That a sikkini is badal followed by a Ismulishara and as al al hadda is your naat. So hadda means sharp, sharp knife with that sharp knife. Ya khadija. So cut the meat with that sharp knife. So with this knowledge, inshallah, we're going to do an example from the Quran. So see how it is mentioned. So Allah Taala says, Ya ayyuhanna su'abudu. ربكم الذي خلقكم والذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون. الحمد لله. We should be able to analyze the whole ayah here. You know, ya is your harf for nida. Ayu ha. Ayu is your munada ha is how tanbi for drawing attention. An nasu is your ya ayu. An nasu is your badal. And u'abudu. So what is u'abudu? U'abudu is your fal amr. Allah is commanding. Wow is antum. All of you. So when you read, that means Allah is telling all of us that ya ayyuhannas o mankind u'abudu. So how do we read? Ya ayyuhannas u'abudu. So we don't pronounce the sound of hamzatul wasal. Ya ayyuhannas u'abudu. Worship. Worship whom? So you say, Rabba. Rabba is your mafoolun bihi. Wa huwa mudafkum is your mudafle. Rabbakum allazi. So what is allazi is your coming as a naat here. This isma mausoola. So we know after isma mausoola is silatul mausool. So the one who, one who what? Khalaqa. Khalaqa is jumlatul fa'liya coming as a silatul mausool. And kum is your mafoolun bihi. He created you. The one who created you. Wa is ataf alladheena is again it is a mawtufun ala kum it is mafoolun bihi and the one so that's alladheena again it's isma masoola so we're looking for silatul masoola again so the one before min qabli kum but man before you la'alla kum we know la'alla inna anna ka'anna layta lakinna la'alla so la'alla will have min akhwatu inna will have ism and khabar so Kum is the ism la'allakum. Hopefully you tattakhoon will be from the one who fear. Tattakhoon. So one more ayah here. Ya ayyuhal ladheena. Ya ayyuhal ladheena. Amanu. Amanu rka'u wasjudu wa'abudu. Rabbakum waf'alu al-khayra la'allakum tuflihoon. We say, O oh, you who believe, Ya Ayyuhallaz, O oh, you the one, the one who is uh, Silatul Mausul is your Amanu, the one who believes. Amanurka'u. See, so we got two Hamzatul Wasals, I mean Hamzatul Wasal and the Sukun. So we don't pronounce those sounds. So we say, Amanurka'u. Wasjudu wa'abudu rabbakum. So, you yeah, have got three commands here. So to bow and do sujood and do ibadah, to worship, worship whom? Rabbakum, your Lord. Wafalu, 
and do so do what then we can ask a question so it become fair mutaaddi al khaira is you maful be do the good la allakum so that hopefully you so we need a khabar la allakum tuflihun that you will be successful so this is how it is used and it is pronounced inshallah so those are the fa'il amr to bring it so going forward so we are coming to uh, learn a new concept today inshallah so what is that we are learning about la we already learned before la as a particle of answer so whenever it is a ahada kitab so for example if you say naam or la that's like in particle of answer so but today we are going to learn that this la is used with a fa'il so there are two types of la which are used with the fa'il so one is called lan nafia lan nafia and the other is called lan nahia so both of these la nafia and lan nahia they are used with fa'il mudhara so they are fa'il mudhara so we going to understand and know the difference between these two inshallah la nafia is negation where you negate a sentence so it is used with jumlat al fa'liya and you where you negate the sentence so what is la nahia then la nahia is to forbid or to stop from from doing an action so that's the difference between la nafia so where you negate so no and la nahia so let's give some examples so la nafia so when used with fa'il mudhari' so we're saying no so then this la has no effect on the fa'il mudhari' which comes after it that means the fa'il will remain in its natural form which is marfu' so you won't see any change in the fa'il you are just negating the sentence for example if you say afhamud darsa i understood the lesson so if you want to say i did not uh, i did not i'm not understanding the lesson say la afhamud darsa so la afham afham is fa'il mudhari marfu'un bi dhamma so if you see dhamma so we know it's marfu there's no change that means he is just negating you think i'm not understanding the lesson so for example nadhhabu is we are going nadhhabu ila suq so if you want to negate we are not going to suq we just put a we just put la and what to say la nadhhabu so nadhhabu fa'il mudhari' marfu'un bi dhamma ila suq so for example tashrabu tashrabu shaya you are drinking tea so if you want to say you are not drinking tea so you say la tashrabu shaya you are not drinking the tea okay so what is la nahia thus so la nahia is also used in fa'il mudhari' so how do we differentiate which la is being used whether la nahia allah nafia so whenever this la nahia comes so we know it has an impact on the fa'il because you are giving kind of a command so it becomes majzum so that's how you know that this la is la an nahia is nahi naha means to forbid so for example so you say tadhhabu you are going la tadhhabu you are not going but how do you want to say don't go so you say la tadhhab la tadhhab so tadhhab fa'lum majzumun bi sukoon for example so if you see la nahia so la taktub don't write bil qalam al ahmar so you giving kind of a command so this la will have a force of a fa'il amr because you giving a command that's why it turns into a uh, majzum but it will have alamat mudhari' so it is fa'il mudhari' so we need we know ta a na an ya ar it is alamat mudhari' so when you see la with alamat mudhari' and majzum 
so that means you are giving a command la nahiya you telling not so if you are just making a statement like la taktubu bil qalam bil qalam al ahmar you are not writing with red pen so you are just giving a, like a statement you are not writing but you want to say don't write so it's la taktub so la takhruj min al fasl don't go out of the class but if you telling you're not going out so it has a lot of difference in how we say you're not going out and don't go out la takhruju min al fasl so whenever you see fa'il mudhari' bi dhamma so we know that la is la an nafiya and has no effect on the fa'il but if it is an effect that is la an nahiya so we say la ta'bud so here the knowledge which we just learned that whenever a fa'il majzum is followed by al so that is to assimilate the sounds we bring in the sound of kasra la ta'budish shaitan okay so we say la ta'budu la ta'budush shaitan means you are not worshiping shaitan la ta'budish means that's an amar it's a command don't worship shaitan so there's lot of difference in how we pronounce the sound and how we understand so it has lot of effect so hopefully when we are reading quran so we should be able to use this knowledge to read properly inshallah so let's do some more examples so we get more familiar with this concept so you are telling ya musa o musa anta maridun you are sick fala takhruj so this fa is just connecting it's an ataf so connecting to the previous concept so i say you are uh il therefore la takhruj don't go out see it's ending with the sukoon min al bait from house wala tadhhab ila al madrasati and don't go to madrasa wala talab fi al shari' and don't play in the street so la tajlis don't sit don't you sit see ta is alamat mudari anta so even this la nahiya so it like fell amar so you normally you give it for to the anta antuma antum anti antuma antunna so there's a different way to give it in third person we're going to learn later on but this is a normal for these six situations la tajlis fi tariq iftahin nawafida see iftahin so why it is hin is actually iftah miss anta you telling one person the windows wala tafta see wala tafta hil bab and don't open the door so when you see a fail with kasra so we know it naturally it cannot have kasra it is only for pronunciation sake and we should understand what form it is in exactly la tadhak dahika yadhaku means he laughed he laughs la tadhak don't laugh fil fasli in the class la taakul don't eat fi shar on in the street and la takdhib don't lie la takdhib la tahliq don't cut halaka yahliqu tahliqu and la tahliq is don't cut don't cut means lihiyatika your beard don't cut your beard la tas'alni see so now we need to understand here sa'ala yas'alu the fa'il the fa'il can have a maf'ulun bihi so telling uh, don't ask ask whom don't ask me is noon is noon wa bikaya ya mutakallim so you don't ask me la tas'alni hada as-su'ala so hada as-su'ala is badal so don't ask me this question la tadrib don't you hit hit whom zamila zamila ka is your mudaf ilahi don't hit your colleague so this is the new concept so hopefully you understand how we use la nahiya and how do we use la nafiya so inshallah we'll learn more about this in our next class so until then 
keep practicing we'll see you soon assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh